So before we get into structure and BCC and FCC and simple cubic and hexagonal closed path and atomic packing factors and closed pack planes, closed pack directions, we need to first kind of identify what is a crystallographic direction. Well, we are going to use directions are just vectors. So this is a direction. But we are going to use Miller indices and a specific way to kind of denote uh, directions. So a single direction is denoted by these square brackets. And we're going to use Miller indices, basically UVW, HKL once we get into planes. Um, but basically, they're going to correspond to our axes, XYZ, XYZ, 1, 2, 3, HKL, UVW. Same things that we've been kind of looking at previously. So if I want to draw a direction, I am going, if this is the direction that I want to draw, I am going to pick, basically, this is my direction, this is my finish, this is my start, my direct, my finish locations minus my start locations must be equal to the direction that I'm looking for. So for example, this one's pretty straightforward, I can pick a point one zero zero minus my origin zero 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 so this would be my finish point here this would be my start finish vector start vector that would be my direction um, so somewhat straightforward how would we or basically how would we draw the one 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 direction you know for a lot of these I can do the same kind of activity and what I like to do is I like to draw it within basically a unit cell so for example, I want to draw this unit cell right here. So one, 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 start at the origin. That would be my one, one, one direction. What about something that's a little bit more complicated like this? One minus one, zero. How can I draw that? Well, let's say I want to do one, zero, zero, finish minus my start. So I need this to be zero. I need this to be one. And then this could also be zero. So my finish will be still right here. So I could draw that right here. And my start would be 0, 1, 0. So right here. So that would be the vector that connects those. So it's just kind of a math operation when you're trying to draw it. What about 2, 2, 2? That's a little bit more complicated. Um, I need to keep it within my same unit cell. So one of the things I can do, why don't I just do Basically, I want to do a half, a half, a half. Actually, we could draw that a little bit later, but actually, yeah, let's do two, two, two. Two, how are we going to do two, two, two? Well, let's check it out. So I can do, actually, I could reduce that. That's just basically one, 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 and you could kind of extend it out of the cell. Um, but I can do basically half, a half, a half. Yeah, I, want to, I don't want to do the 2, 2, 2 direction. But instead, we could also look at some directions as well. Um, so let's look at some of these directions. What would this direction be? I don't, want to, I don't even want to deal with this guy. Did this one, did this one. What about right here? So let's cross it out right now. So where's my finish? I am going to be at a half. I'm also going to be at a half here. And then I'm at one. Finish minus my start, which is my origin. So I'm going to be a half, a half, one. I can't do that. I need to have integer numbers. So it's going to be one, one, two. That will be that direction here. So you can do all those different kind of planes here. Now, we are also going to talk about families of directions or equivalent directions. So depending on the crystal structure, you could have equivalent directions. So if I rotate my cube, uh, you can't distinguish between one direction or another. So for example, the 110 direction in a cubic structure, so this direction right here, looks exactly the same as this one, 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 this one, this one, this one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So all of these directions are what we call a crystallographic equivalent or a family of directions. So we call that the 1110 family of directions. You could have the 110 family of directions. You could have the 111 family of directions. So these directions that are crystallographic equivalent, if I kind of blindfolded you and showed you a direction, you cannot tell me those are distinct. So, excellent. So now we are going to move on to planes and families of planes and all of that good stuff. So we'll see you in the next video.
Thanks. Bye.